Gregor is present when Cersei holds court, and moves to protect his queen when Euron Greyjoy steps too close to the throne. He is also present when Cersei holds court to the nobility of the Reach. Gregor is also present when Cersei hosts a grand reception with Lord Euron and his prisoners Yara Greyjoy, Ilaria, and Tyene Sand. He was later present in the dungeons with Kyburn when Cersei confronts her prisoners Ilaria and Tyene over the murder of her daughter. While Cersei had toyed with ordering Gregor to smash their heads like he did with Oberyn, she instead settles for poisoning Tyene with the long farewell and forcing Ilaria to watch her daughter's final death throes. When Daenerys and her retainers are set to arrive in King's Landing to negotiate an armistice with Cersei and her royal army, Cersei has Clegane stand in as her personal bodyguard. Even before they set out to the Dragon Pit, where the meeting is stated to be held, she makes preparations with Kyburn, Jaime and Clegane. She orders Sir Gregor to first kill Daenerys, then Tyrion, then Jon, and the rest of them in any order if the meeting goes wrong. Together with Clegane, Cersei then sets out to meet their guests. When their procession arrives in the Dragon Pit, Sandor Clegane, who is with the group of Daenerys, is shocked to see the state of his hated brother. Once Gregor has taken his place behind Cersei, Sandor approaches him. Sandor hatefully states that Gregor was now uglier than Sandor and that this was not how it would end for Gregor. Sandor continues, claiming Gregor knew that Sandor will be coming for him, before returning to his group. Accordingly, Gregor steps back behind Cersei, only to emerge once more when Daenerys arrives on the dragon Drogon. When Euron Greyjoy takes too many liberties during the parley, threatening the fragile peace, Cersei orders him to sit down or leave. Clegane threateningly makes a step forward to further stress her point. During the parley, Daenerys's group releases a white to prove the threat the undead pose. Clegane was ready to shield Cersei from the white, but Sandor yanks it back with a chain. When Jon Snow later reveals to Cersei that he already swore allegiance to Daenerys, Cersei calls off the parley and returns to the Red Keep with her retainers, Clegane included. To convince her to accept the armistice, Tyrion follows her and is escorted to her chambers by Clegane, who visibly makes Tyrion uneasy. Clegane escorts Tyrion into the room and remains in the back while Cersei and Tyrion argue and discuss. He is ready to execute Tyrion when the dwarf demands he do so, but Cersei never gives the order. Instead, Tyrion actually manages to convince Cersei to come to the dragon pit again and, accompanied by Clegane and the others, Cersei turns up once more to announce that she will send her armies north to assist in fighting the dead. This, however, is a lie and Cersei has no intention of doing so. The group returns to the Red Keep. When Jaime made it clear to Cersei that he would join the fight against the army of the dead with or without her, Clegane suddenly prevents him from leaving the room. Cersei calls Jaime a traitor for disobeying her commands and stating that no one walks away from her. When Cersei nods, Clegane draws his sword, waiting for Cersei to give the order to execute Jaime. However, Jaime called Cersei out on her bluff and walks right past Clegane, who does not intervene, and out of the room.